What you guys got another video here for you on how to speed up your internet by 20% for free. Now, normally when you purchase your internet package from your ISP, which is your internet service provider, they will give you a set amount of bandwidth, which you've paid for. Now, what happens is when you get your uh, bandwidth sent from your ISP to your computer or to your router, and then it gets delivered to your PC, this is where your Windows then takes over of your internet uh, package. So basically what happens is Windows will reserve a certain amount of bandwidth for application requirements and uh, updates and things like that in the background. So how can we boost this? Well, if you've got Windows 10 Pro or above, you can go into the search box here and type GP edit. We're going to open this um, local group policy editor open this up and once you're inside here we're going to start off with uh, the computer configuration here so we're going to go computer configuration then come down to administrative templates open this one up here then we're going to go to network now drop that down i'm going to pull this open just a little bit here so you can see so inside here we're going to go to qos package uh, scheduler and we're going to go here and on the right hand side you'll see limit reservable bandwidth click on here you can read about all of this inside the description here it says determines the percentage of the connection bandwidth that the system can reserve this uh, value limits the combined bandwidth reservations of all programs running on your system so if your program is trying to ask for bandwidth, that 20% that is reserved will be given to those programs. If you want to claim that back, you can click on the limited reservable bandwidth, and this will open up this box here, which is your limit reservable bandwidth. You'll see it's not configured. And if you look here, by default, the package scheduler limits the system to 80% of your bandwidth of the connection, but you can use this setting to override the default. So you need to enable this feature and by default, you'll see that it is set to 80%. So how would you uh, get full percentage? Well, what you would do is you would put a zero inside here, not 100%, you would put a zero in and apply this. And basically they're going to get 0% of that bandwidth um, taken from your main bandwidth, which is delivered to you by your ISP. So in theory, you will get 100% of that bandwidth when you want to do something rather than 80% of that bandwidth, if that makes sense. So what if you haven't got Group Policy Editor? Well, let me quickly show you how you can do that inside uh, the registry here. So what we're going to do is go down to the search box and type reg edit and open up the registry editor. So once you've got your registry editor open, what you're going to do is go to H key local machine here, open this up, and then you're going to go down to software. Once you're inside software here, go to policies, open this up. Then we're going to go to Microsoft inside Microsoft. We're going to open that up here. And what you're looking for here is windows. Open this up and inside here, what you're looking for is this and you're looking for P S C H E D. Okay. So on the right hand side here, you should see non best effort limit. If you don't see this registry entry here, or you don't see the P S C H E D, you can create that. You can just click on the windows folder here, go right click new and then add a new key. And this will add a new key here and you want to call it that P S C H E D inside here. Okay. So I'll just quickly show you here. I'm not going to do the full bit because I've basically got it, but you see here, you would just do this and this would enter this in here. Once you've added this, you can then go over to the right hand side here and right click and you can go to new uh, D word. 32-bit value 
and this will create that new value. And all you'd need to do is make that value exactly what you see here and give it a value of zero. It's that simple. But we've already got that value there. But if you don't see that value, that's what you would want to do. Now, this does work with all versions of Windows from Windows XP right up to Windows 10. And uh, this will basically claim back that 20% of uh, reserved bandwidth uh, for uh, programs and stuff like that and Windows updates. Now, on a side note, I just want to point out that by doing this, what you're basically doing is clawing back 20% of the bandwidth, which is basically uh, reserved by the operating system. And this is a fixed percentage that is reserved for Windows operating systems of your total internet bandwidth. So this is the quality of service, basically, usage that you're using and you're changing. Now, this is used for Windows updates, uh, license renewals, and other things like uh, program updating in the background and things like that. So if you restrict all of that uh, to complete zero, which is giving you 100% of your internet speed, you will get a lot more faster internet because it's not being restricted by 20%. So really, in theory, in theory, you are speeding up your internet by 20% because you're not having a reserved amount kept back by Windows. I guess on the flip side, is a bit of a trade-off, really. Uh, you, you could literally uh, put this to zero, claim back 100% of your bandwidth, and then you may run into issues like uh, Windows updates not being able to utilize that 20%, which is reserved for updating and programs and things like that. So... Again, it's entirely up to you whether you use this, uh, but it does give you 100% of your bandwidth on your Windows system, and it does work with all Windows operating systems. If you do want to uh, put this back to a uh, default, you can either delete this key, or you can go back into your limited reservable uh, bandwidth here, and put this to not configured okay anyway i think that's going to be about it for this video hope this one's been useful to you and helpful my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i just want to say a big thank you to all my youtube members who have joined my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support so thanks again for watching i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now <laughs>